Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. In this video, you will learn how to design the elliptical head of a pressure vessel using the equations command. In accordance with ASME Section 8, Division 1, UG 32. Forming on metal sheets is performed by applying pressure on the concave side of the head. While designing the elliptical head, one should know the formulas. Formulas are displayed on the screen, and also there's a technical explanation for each of them. First, let us sketch the elliptical head, using the equations tool. Now, create a new part and click OK. Let us make, horizontal and vertical center lines, on the front plane. Now, create a coincident relation, between the center of the plane, and the vertical center line. Do the same for the horizontal center line. After creating the base for the sketch, make a circle on the horizontal line. Extend the horizontal center line as per requirement. Now, make a vertical line in a downward direction from the horizontal center line on the left side of the circle. Define it as a tangent to the circle. Now, let's introduce our equations, in the global variable. Let's take the inner diameter equal to 548 millimeters. Wall thickness is equal to 30 millimeters. Straight flange equal to 50 millimeters. Crown radius equals 0.9 times inner diameter. And, knuckle radius equals 0.17 times inner diameter. Now, let's define our sketch using the global variable. First, we will define the radius of the elliptical head. Then knuckle radius or diameter of the smaller circle, which is 93.16 mm.
Then after, we will make a circle, on the vertical center line, and define its diameter. which is 2 times the crown radius. Now, let's mirror the smaller circle about the vertical center line, to show you how the elliptical head will look. Now, make a smaller circle, tangent to the bigger circle, or vice versa. And finally, give value to the straight flange, which is 50 millimeters. After defining all the values from the global variable, we will trim the unnecessary entities. and define the knuckle radius and crown radius. To get wall thickness, we will use an offset tool. and place it at 30 millimeters from the sketch. Let us close the sketch and make our sketch fully defined. Now, we will revolve the sketch, about the vertical axis.
you can change the color of the model as required. You can see we have got all the terms. The straight flange, the knuckle radius, the crown radius, wall thickness, and the inner diameter. Okay, that is all for this video. We will see you in the next one, until then learn and grow.